Hey brother aunties, uh, back again. Day oh, 13 or 14 or something or 15. Um, yep. It's a bit of a shitty day, a bit windy. Hunting, fishing, gathering, lifestyle tips, health tips, what have you. I look forward to a good one. It's still uh, pretty early in the morning. Just got to do a quick Skype call with uh, you know, a few people to stay in touch and uh, then we'll rock into it. Whatever it is. Later. Just trying to find the wonky donkey man on uh, Facebook doing a live show. All the parents are talking about it. I guess that's what I am. Guys, we're going to launch into it. Um, school started. We're going to start our project. Here we go. You guys can uh, play along at home and do the same if you want. Right. Get ready. Uh, we're going to make something called a rocket stove. So, Dad. Yeah. How does this exactly? How does this exactly work? Here's my diagram. We're going to put, make a hole here. So it goes through there, and then there's going to be a chimney up the top. It's going to be about this tall. Um, I'm going to put a grill in the middle so that the wood can sit on top of the grill. And um, what are we going to cook today? We're going to boil some water probably, maybe make noodles. I don't know. We'll have to see. So it's, the air goes this way, and then that way, and uh, it's called a rocket stove. Okay. Yes, please. Let's see how we go. All right. Step one, dig a hole in your garden until you get something that's close to clay. Step two, get your bonus potatoes that you must have missed last year. That's uh, half a feed. Chuck a bit of water and a bit of grass clippings in. Maybe a bit more. That's your binder. Yep, so you chuck some bricks like that and you get your little grill and you stick it on top. And then, next step, mud it in. Alright, let's get on to it, Claude. Good one. Okay, level one complete. Next levels. Okay, that's it. The toilet's looking pretty good. Okay, keep working. Well, there's uh, another half an hour of my life I'll never get back making a giant turd. There it is. Rocks and stones you can't really see inside. Got my uh, level there. I'm going to let it dry out for a little bit and then fire it up and see if it actually works. Hmm, what have I become? Okay, cousin brother of the Wuzzles, uh, we're going to do something a bit different now. You know, I've been getting a few uh, letters from people saying show us more cooking Andy sweet as cuz and uh, so I'm gonna show you some cooking and cooking dinner what's for dinner tonight I hear you say have a guess it's butter chicken Okay, here we go then, uh, cooking with Andy. Um, so get some chicken, about 500 Gs. I normally get don't get the free range stuff because um, I like to taste the pain of the caged ones. So chop that up into chunky bits the size that you want to eat in your butter chicken. Yeah. Is that raw? It's raw as, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's what happens when you eat chocolate biscuits, eh? Yep, and I've got a little dog. Yeah. But these eat chocolate. Tell me about it. I love it. Okay, <coughs> fry pan. I heat. Chuck in a slab of butter. That's about at least two tablespoons of some, something. Yeah. A bit of oil. Yeah. 
get that up to, uh, we'll crank that up to the gigawatts, put it on high actually. Surprising. I know. It's a trick. Good. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Slam the chicken in. Oh, oh. Oh, what's the drip? Salmonella dub. Steaming, steaming. Yep. Fry the shit out of it. Fuzzy wuzzles, um, yep. So you want to brown that chicken up. That's only been about, I don't know, two minutes. Turn the volume down now a bit because I've got the, got the browning. Because of all my subscribers. That's why I'm doing the YouTube channel. They want to see people cooking dinner because, you know, they never cook dinner. They always just get takeaways and microwave meals. Nah, I don't know that. Some of you might, but yeah. McDonald's is closed, so you know. What you gonna do? Okay. Uh oh, what's the puppy? She'll be right, bruv. So the chicken is brown on the outside. It won't be cooked in the middle, really, but uh, don't worry about that. Sweet ass, bro. Okay, I'm going to cut up an onion, uh, about a, what is it, a tablespoon of uh, ginger and probably that whole bit of garlic there, which is normally like three big cloves, but that's a tiny one. Cheers to the corona. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so that's the onion chopped. At this point, I do like to get the onion into the fry pan and get it softening. Yeah, and add more butter. This is quite a healthy meal, you know. You gotta get your good fats in there, you fatty fat. Cousin brothers, that was pretty exciting, eh? Chopping vegetables up. Thrillingaf.com. Right, so, spices. Cumin. Powdered. Teaspoon of that. Smash it in there. Next. I'm gonna mess along. I like to use Greg's quality product. Because that's what they've got at the supermarket, you know? Tablespoon of that. Tea, tablespoon, teaspoon, don't get them mixed up. Tastes like poos. Okay. I slam in some uh, smoky paprika. Because this is probably the point where you chuck a bit of chili in for colour and flavour, but kids don't like chili. I like the smoky flavour. Just like tea tendore. Okay. Now, I also like to stick in a couple of whole cloves. Be careful because they still stay like wood even though it's a slow cook. You get to the end of the bag so I'm going to put in just this last little bit. I know you do. Okay, smash in some salt. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you're hopping, aren't you? Some actual black pepper ground. About that much. And secret ingredient I love every time you will be able to yeah um, these are cardamom pods yeah they taste kind of lemony and yum and I always give a prize to the person who finds one in their mouth no you can't eat one yet you can eat one for dinner so I just get them and I do the old smash it sideways like I did with the garlic yeah to release the uh, release the beast inside <sighs> I feel a bit like Jamie Oliver, really, eh? Pretty much look like him, too. Bit of a dick. Bit of mix. Oh, yeah. That's our... The beginnings of our curry paste, really. Yep, give it a test. I'll show the people. Oh, yeah, I'll put that. There we go. Just looks like, uh... 
bunch of powder with some garlic and ginger in there. Okay, we're gonna smash that into the fry pan. Smash it in the fry pan, maybe more butter, maybe more oil. Fry it off for a bit, cook my spice. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're in the fry pan now. Just add a bit more oil on top of it, just to, uh, you know, help juice it up. There's that extra butter from before. Fry that puppy off for a bit. Okay, I fried that off for about uh, a minutes, and uh, just gonna slam the chicken back in there. Put it in uh, my favorite bowl. Put it back in the fry pan. All that extra butter. Mix it up. The minute gone by, I've got the um, Tom puree. I usually chuck in about, well, it's probably close to a tablespoon and a bit for the uh, richness. Mm. And chase that puppy with a tin of tomato puree. Puree, that's what you want. Oh, the stuff before was paste. I said puree, I said it was Tom puree, but no, nah, this is the puree. That was the paste. Correction. Hmm. Stir it up. Guys, the magic ingredient, cream. Make sure it's Auntie Pam's. Whole bottle. No, bro. I just want to put the cream in it. Oh, yeah. Sweet as cuts. Cheers. Namaste, brother cousins. Um, yep, namaste. basically, namaste. Yeah, we've done it. We've made uh, butter chicken. I mixed it all together with the cream. It looks like butter chicken, but it's not totally over. You got to slam on the lid. Oh, yeah, slam on the lid, keeping a bit of the moisture, unless you want it really thick. I like it runny. Uh, right down on almost as low as it goes, but you want it warm enough because remember that chicken's not actually really fully cooked, so leave it there. Go and chill, it's probably about five beers, I'd say, till it's cooked, which is equates to half an hour minimum. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so uh, yeah, I'd probably leave it a bit longer than that, like one hour. Shout outs to uh, HGA, you know who you are. Put me onto the recipe initially, off the internet, and I've done a few little tweaks, which will have him uh, turning in his solo isolation bubble as we speak. Anyway, peace out. Boil some rice in about now. Butter chicken dinner time. Smash up some naan too. Important. Yep. Yep, totally. Okay, um, okay, we've I've made it now. I've got to do the taste test. I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, people don't uh, Okay, it's butter chicken. It's uh, it looks like that. I chuck some beans in there for greens. It's gonna be good. Got some naan bread, let's give it a go. Bloody good. Make it yourself. Catch you later. Some good clay there. That's what I need at home for the rocky stove. Yep. Another walk on the Finua. Taking the dogs out again. Do some more, uh, I don't know, Ooh, bush tucker foraging. I think I just got foraged by a fly. Free range kids, just let them go. Give it the frozen treatment. Mighty Totara. So, uh, this is uh, medicinal kawakawa. It's really good for. Uh, Basically everything they reckon, a bit of snake oil if you ask me, but um, yeah, if you've got sore teeth, you chew on it. I tried it once, peppery, horrible as hell. Put it in your salads, eat too much of it, you get the shits. Now here's another horse. Wait, what? You're a cow. Here's, here's another dog, here's a dog. I mean, 
Japanese uh, were here. It's actually the next day, rained overnight. The mud made it through the giant poo. So it's time to uh, chuck in some paper and uh, fire it up. Do that now. Okay, so I've jammed some paper and wood in there. That's the view from the top. We're gonna fire it up now. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it on fire? It's on fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm seeing on the top. Well, hopefully it's on fire. Andrew. Okay, the. Flame going. Oh. Yeah, it's, so it's going to be smoky to start with, uh -huh. so and then uh, then when it starts uh, sucking the oxygen underneath, she's going to fire up, and it's supposed to be Just super efficient. Top. We'll see. That's right, coriander seeds, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there's some nice heat coming. And I'll look, no smoke, smoke-free fire. Boom. Yeah. Don't burn your face. Oh. Okay. Chicken drumsticks. Duck fat. Salt and pepper. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Not actually hungry. What you gonna do? Can tip, um, just, just make sure you don't overload your pan because uh, only an idiot would do that. <laughs> Uh, if you want sauce with your chicken, then yeah. Got a sizzle, peeps. Maybe not. So the theory goes that uh, the rocket stove is supposed to be super efficient on fuel and no smoke. So anyway, that's my. Uh, that's what there. That's just an old chopped up pellet. That's what's going to cook my chicken. When the kids, and she's still cooking. Got a little gap up the top. Let the smoke get out. Chicken on top. Yum. Just sitting here by the fire. Thinking about a few things. How long is the chicken going to take? Number one. Number two, I've just noticed a few people out there um, flouting the rules, you know. We're supposed to be on lockdown. I was out fishing the other day and I saw so many people going by, you know, running, jogging, walking dogs. And I was just like, you idiot, what are you doing? I could smell the corona on their breath. I mean, another example, I went for a drive around the bays the other day just for fun. and people just cycling everywhere, you know? Just cyclists out there in Lycra. Budgie smuggling, it's just not good. Come on people, wake up. I've lost interest now. Looks like it's just me. Cool project doing. Okay, there's the chicken, it's browning up a bit. Just gonna chuck a bit of a lid on it. Keep the heat in. Hopefully cook them through so we don't all die of uh, camp by the back. Door. Hooray! 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 I think the chicken's done. 
have a look. Oh, don't bang it. The whole thing could just crumble, mate. Oh, it will. The oh, mud oh. has been drying out. Looks like it's going to crack. Looks like it's all going to crumble into a big pile of poos. But it already is a big pile of poos, so no worries, bro. I'm ready to get my heat on too, bro. Sweet ass, chicken's done, kids are into it, loving it. Hats off at the table. All right, taste his time. This chicken. It's greasy. Duck fatty. I can taste the non-free range pain. So it's good. Do it yourself. Hey brother, cousin, uncles, aunties, and sisters uh, yeah the video has gone on way too long pretty boring this lockdown for you um, yeah so I'm gonna sign off now be good if you can't be good well we have protection you know PPE catch you later <laughs>